Okay, so that's it? That's it. Okay. So over the past um, over the past week or two, we've had to amend some numbers, uh, decrease some, increase others, uh, because of the uh, of of the continued cold weather. We've had to increase some of our propane numbers. So, but if you want to start, yep, let's go for okay. propane. I like that discussion. We'll start on number eighteen. Fill the sequence. Yes, they're all, in, they're all in sequence. 18, uh, unfortunately, uh, our overtime is ridiculous. Um, so we're looking to transfer 24,000 into uh, from the retirement in the nursing into overtime in nursing. Okay. Questions from um, the committee? going to say you've got plenty of money there. Yes, sir. Is this because we don't have filled positions? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and we have call-outs, too. Motion? So well, I, I, go ahead, Ms. Go ahead. You know, we right. had this problem of several years ago, and I did, I did a lot of studying. If you take all of the overtime in the entire county, the nursing home, just nurses alone, takes up about 85% of all of the overtime in the entire county. It's ridiculous. I mean, at that time, before you got here, mm -hmm. they wanted three, almost $400,000 a year. Yeah. $1,000 a day. Wow. And, and, but even this, I think, is high. I'm willing to go with it because it's already done, probably. But it'll be the last time I'll sign off on overtime. Okay. Can I speak here? Yes. I just want to throw out there for especially on nurses. I mean, the state already had to do 15% increase for the state nurses because they can't get people. We're down a nurse. I've already put an indeed in the papers. We can't get one. I may have to go more agency. The nursing shortage is a huge problem, and your overtime on nursing staff is just going to go up. It is, and I hate to say it, it is not going to go down. Well, Go ahead, may Representative. I, yes. May I? Yes. Um, at the time, a couple of years ago, they said it was in the contract, the union contract, that registered nurses working at the, at the uh, nursing home, they could bump anybody from overtime and take it. That, I know, we were told time after time after time, it's in the contract, nothing we can do about it. I got a hold of a copy of the contract and read it. I'd never found anything in there. I brought it to their attention. And, and the, the, the administrator of the nursing home got out, up out of the meeting and walked out. She came back in five minutes later and said, oh, you know what, I just talked to the chief of the union and he's right, it's not in the contract. So, and they said they were going to stop that. Because that's what they were doing, and instead of paying registered, uh, 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 you know, a practical nurse, they were paying registered nurses at twice the amount, of, uh, you know, three hundred and something thousand dollars a year for just nursing overtime. In in, in one hundred and eighty something thousand. Well, that's why I got a thing about this overtime because we were lied to so much. Yeah, but there's, there's nothing we can do, though, Frank. I mean. You know, I mean, we, we have to fill that, that, that spot. and I, I understand that. Let me just ask you one more question. Mm -hmm. At the time we suggested to doing something like a per diem individual, like, like uh, teaching, you know, a, a substitute teacher, they're on call. Mm -hmm. Is, can we do something like that mm -hmm. to, to line up, you know, maybe a half a dozen or so nurses who aren't full time and don't want to work full time, but they're willing to come in a day, a week, or something. And that, that's what we do. We we fill with with per diems if we can. If, if you know, I mean, these are these are mostly eleven to seven, three to eleven shifts. You know, the daytime we have no problem. It's it's the, the overnight it's the night ones. Yeah, yeah. we've and had an open shift for two two years. And you can't find them. You can't. Find, I mean, I love a, a part time roster to fill in for my full time people. I've been in the papers, everywhere else, you can't get them. And it's, 
You can keep up in the money for them, but it's very they're just such a shortage. Yeah. Well, let me just mention, I, I, I've been conversing with uh, Mr. Chandler as a representative, not as a delegate member, um, as a, at a re on a, because of a request from a constituent. And I'll tell you, I haven't dealt with a guy that wasn't any nicer than him. He's, he's, he's tactful, he's knowledgeable, and he's doing everything he can to help my constituent get out of this mess. And I just wanted to pass that on because he, he's a good guy. He really is. Who, who are we talking about? How we channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I spoke to him yesterday about that. Yeah. So I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. So, so, we, so we've got a motion before us, I believe. Representative, you made the motion. So yeah. moved. Yeah. Second in. Um, you want more questions, Chairman? Yes, awesome. question. Um, to, to pay it? No, fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go along with it, but this will be the last one. Um, from 18 to 19, from on request 18 to 19, we're dealing with the same thing. One says 283 expense year to date. The next section, it says 311 828 year to date. Uh, um, we uh, have it to sign, and, and if you add in the transfer, it comes up with 307 No, no, it's um, have it right here. Something came in in between that, or hold on. What, what are we doing? We're, we're, we have a question before yeah, that. We have, we have a motion 18? to approve. Question is on 18 and 19 appear to be the same request. No. No. Nope, different. One's numbers. overtime and one's agency. Okay. It's coming from the same line, nursing right. retirement. That's what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, yeah. But the numbers, one is 311 on the 20th, the other one is 283 on the 18th. Because we took, I think it's a reduction from the other, we've, we've had other transfers, number 11. Uh, transfer number 11, in your packet you, you have an, an updated transfer sheet. Number 11, um, we transferred 42000 Oh, but that was out of l &A salary, so... Right, we haven't done this one. Yeah. Well, let me, let me tell you what it is right now. What, do you, what is agency? What does it mean? Agency? Um, it's when you contract with a nursing agency to, to bring nurses in. Like, we have an agency, so it's a nursing home. Um, okay. They work for the agency. Okay. Agency pays for their retirement, all that kind of stuff. We just pay the so per deal rate for them. So these are nurses, but they're for the... Through an agency. Pardon? Through an agency. Through an agency... But they don't go to, they're not for the nursing home, they're for you, right? Uh, no, the remaining, those are for nursing home. It's uh, yeah, 283. It's I, got, a, I got that on, on, on request 18, 19 it says you expended 311. 283, uh, 93, 03. Right, so now, it, so now it's up to 311 because of, because of the $24,000 transfer. If you add 283 to 24,000, it's up to 307. Well, then it's 307, 83, 93, 03. Yeah, so it's uh, 307, sorry. Are you saying 307 on request 19? Yes, is the expense year to date. Because I anticipated this being, you know, passed. 307 what? 828. 828.36. Okay. So I'm lost. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not hearing it for the first. Okay, let's 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 go back to uh, request number 18, and we have a motion to approve. Yep. Made, seconded by myself. The so we'll vote on that one first, and then we'll go on to 19. If you're in favor of the request, you will signify by saying aye. 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 Um, and opposed would be nay. All, all in favor passes. Okay, we'll move on now to 19, which is what the discussion was on, Frank. So what you see is is guessing under the expense year to date on the on the retirement, it says three uh, 311. It should be 307. I can't add. The 82836 is a okay. Yeah. Yeah. Motions made to approve request number 19, seconded by myself. Discussion? 
Now, this money is going to an agency or to the people who did the work through the agency? It's going to the agency line, and then we pay the agency. In your packet are all the invoices. That's who we pay with this, the agency company. But, and they pay the people yes. that did the work. Yes. So, so this figure actually is an add-on to the total of overtime for the nursing home. Yes. It, it, it's, it's an addition to. In addition to for the grand total, which is now over 200000 Can you have the original so we can sign it? Uh, yeah. Um, I'll just give it to Frank. He'll sign it down, and we'll go down. This is, that's for... That's, that's 18. That's 18. That's the one 18 we've already signature. Done. Here's 19. 18. Thank you. Uh, we've made we've made the motion. It's been seconded. Any further discussion? If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Uh, vote is unanimous. That was for 19, correct? That yeah. is for 19. 18 and 19. Next is number 20. Uh, we're proposing to take $8,900 out of out of pallets. And put it into into the nursing home propane line. We've had uh, actually three extra deliveries this year. Do you think this this will get you through? You're done. Yeah, that, that's it. This is okay. we got the last invoice. So, are we using the pellets? No. Well, yes, we are for the next two weeks. What's in the silo? We're going to burn through, um, and then after that. Uh, at commissioner's last meeting, they've um, they tabled it, but they're going to bring it back up again this week about decommissioning the the pellet boiler. Um, at this time, because we're paying one hundred and seven thousand, I mean one hundred and seven dollars per gallon, as opposed to the pellets, uh, to for it to be um, to be a break even, we'd have to buy propane at one forty five, yeah, and we're fell and we're far far below that so. they, let me just ask you for information on that so the, the the way we're operating now is we have to maintain it we have to do so many burns a month or a year or whatever you're saying they're going to decommission it well it the, the commissioners don't feel that they have to um, Bob thinks they have to but the commissioners don't believe that because it's a machine you don't have to operate it um, so this is a million dollars down the drain well, well, I just we, I, we would, I would hope we get a definitive answer from someone other than well, I'd like to hear science tell me whether that makes sense or doesn't. Well, Commissioner Hounsel says he's a master plumber and he knows so. Um, like I said, I'd like to hear from someone that knows. We paid three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars for it, including installation, and then we paid four hundred and sixteen thousand for installation. Yeah, but it, it doesn't make sense to you know to spend um, you know a hundred thousand dollars on pellets when it's it's going to be more cost effective. Uh, I'm not, uh, that's not the question. The question is, the fact is, that what a waste over a million dollars for that pellet border. And how well, I, 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 I understand that, uh, Frank. My, my question is, we have that investment, and I want to be sure that our investment is well taken care of. And decommissioning it, if it's not done right, I don't. Yeah, I, to understand, me, I agree. To me, makes absolutely no sense. Representative Sam Umberger, thank you for joining us. Well, oh. thank you. Uh, the I didn't hear you come in. Oh, it's because I'm quiet. You are Delphi. very quiet. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is that uh, the installer be called to discuss what the proper way of decommissioning uh, the pellet boiler is. And that, uh, Which installer? The one we bought it from and it was in a contract to install it? Or the one that we paid the $416,000? Really $416,000. I just, want, I just like want someone that is familiar with the boiler to check it out before um, that occurs. But I, I, I think your advice is sound. I'm going to follow up with an email this afternoon and ask the question. Motion to accept the answer. Who we bought it from? The uh, the installer. That's the people we bought it from. 
Well, no, the we the person we spent the four hundred thousand with, I believe, we can send them both a letter. It doesn't make any difference. Well, their we contract the once they got Frank, started I, on their I, contract, it said nothing to do with installation. I, I understand, but but we can ask that they would go to both. I mean, there should be an answer to this. Yes, Mr. Chair, can we add that as part of the motion so it's official that you're asking them to go out and get a second opinion on how you're going to decommission? I don't so have it's problem with that. Done. Yeah. So, okay. So, motion is to accept uh, line transfer 20 uh, with the additional verbiage that uh, the commissioners seek um, uh, recommendation by the, by the boiler provider and installer as to what the proper method is for mothballing. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, you will say nay. Frank, how, how would you like to vote? What about if I abstain? No, you can't abstain. You can you say can't no. Abstain? You can say no. We've got two. What, which, what do you want to do? I. Frank, it's a yes or no. Well, can we go with the, the thought of the representative Umbergers and, and, and make it that was official? Yes, it is. We, we've added that to it. Yes. Okay. But you, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said we're going to go to the people who... We're going to go to both people. The people we purchased it from, the people that installed it. We're going to ask for what the proper mod following is. So we've covered everybody. The people who we purchased it from are the people who installed it. Okay. The other people, all they did was put in a, a, a cement slab for it to sit on. Okay. We can keep the motion broad and go from there. Okay. Are you in favor of that? Yeah, as long as we go to the people we purchased it from. Okay. Uh, motion is unanimous. Uh, request number 20 is approved. Transfer 21. Transfer 21. <clears throat> it is uh, ready for the jail. Again, with propane, looking to transfer $7,500 uh, from the jail retirement into, into the propane account. And again, it's, it's from monies for hires that we, weren't, we didn't bring in. That's why we have the extra money to pull that from retirement. That's where we, that's where we are. I don't, we're having, don't know why. Why are we pulling from retirement? We're going to pull from electricity. I don't think so. There's my left in retirement, yes. And that's because we haven't been able to fill our quota of people? No, we've had people leave and come and okay. go, and it's okay. like, like ebbs and flows like every year, so we have money. Right. Right Motion? So moved, Mr. Chairman? Seconded? Second, I'll second it. Uh, moved and seconded. Discussion? Representative McCarthy, any discussion? Hearing none. Uh, motion is to approve uh, transfer request number 21. If you're in favor of that, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 It's, the motion is unanimous. <coughs> and I'm going to have Jason take uh, the next the next one, number 22. Mm -hmm. 22. Uh, asking to transfer more money. F uh, Transfer amount $26,275 to carry us through for the rest of the year on our inmate medical line, um, taking it from money left over from the administration medical insurance line. Um, we've already moved some more money this year. This is a, a second transfer again this year on the medical line. With increase of all everything's going on, we have had more hospital visits, more hospital stays. Um, it's a sick population dealing with a, the opioid crisis and other things that are going on. I, 
as simple as last night, we had a gentleman chew through his arm last night, and he went out to the hospital. So these are things that we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, motion to accept uh, transfer request 22. Second. All those in favor, signify by our discussion. Just one question. Mr. Question. Um, seems to be a lot of money left in that line. Is it people not taking advantage of medical insurance or? Um, I, I think Chuck, Chuck got some numbers mixed up. Okay, further discussion? Um, I, I have a question, but I'll, I'll, I'll hold them off. I'll talk to you later. It's about the new bill that we just passed where they have to sign for Medicaid, and it, it, lets, it lets the jail or the prison off from, from paying that because they already signed that Medicaid. They have to sign it, it's a requirement. That piece there, that piece that you're talking about signing it, is if they're admitted to a hospital that we can go DHHS for reimbursement. But when they come into the jail, Medicaid is suspended from them. They don't have insurance once they come into a jail. If they go to the hospital and they're admitted, not in the not in the observation period, if the hospital chooses to do an observation period, then we cannot submit to DHHS. If they actually admit them, I can take that and I can submit to HHS for reimbursement. So there is some confusion there. They're not covered. It is immediately suspended. And then we can reinstate again when they leave. Um, but if they go to the hospital, we can get some of that reimbursed if they're admitted. So it's just want to make sure that's clear. Question. Where does the reimbursements go to? Back to us and back into the medical line. They have to be admitted to the hospital? What if they go to the emergency room? If they're not admitted, just emergency room in and out, we can't ask for reimbursement. Medicaid doesn't take care of that. No. And regular visits, regular visits to the hospital are not covered either. It's if they're at, admitted. So if you have a regular appointment or it's in and out, it's not covered as well either. But it's nice that, they, that the inmate does not have to sign it anymore, which would be very helpful because we do have to have their signature in order to get the reimbursement if they're admitted. But if they're not actually technically admitted, it's just a normal in and out it's not covered. And how are we doing with collections on that? For, for the DHHS? Yeah. Very well. This is the first year, well, the second year we've been kind of doing it. They're, they're good as long as we get our documentation, and we, we work very hard to get the inmate to sign off on it, okay. um, including going down to the hospital if we need to to have them sign. Thank you. Okay, so we have request number two, a motion to approve, seconded. We have, yep. we have a second. Second. Um, and further discussion? Seeing none, if you're in favor of request 22, then you'll signify by saying aye. 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 Representative McCarthy? I said aye. Thank you. Now I'm the one saying, uh, <laughs> which is true. I want to borrow my hair yeah. is. <laughs> Okay, motion, motion transfer number 22 passed unanimously. But I, but I said it in the same tone of voice as, as, as uh, the previous I'm friend over there, the way he talks, I can't hear what he says. Request number 22, if you would, please. Uh, 23? 23, I'm sorry. Our request 23 is from the nursing home. We're looking to take uh, $7,700 from the nursing retirement line and put it into nursing secretary salary. Uh, we had a payout at the beginning of that of this year for, uh, for an employee, and that employee... Um, we hired another employee in that place uh, for uh, um, for uh, a little more money than, than we were paying the other person because uh, she had some more experience. Seven thousand seven hundred dollars more? No, the the pay was almost six thousand. So, you was this person terminated? No, she resigned. Okay, so she resigned, and so we paid six thousand dollars out of that, out of your, out of uh, your budget line, right? Secretary line, because okay. we don't budget for those. And then you hired somebody new at a at a increased rate. We hired someone new, yes, at like a dollar fifty more than what she was making. But because we had spent the extra six thousand, um, how long ago did you terminate this person? We didn't. Or they did this they person, left in. Um, this person left around late January, early February. And I thought, you know, we might make it to the end of the year, but we didn't. So. And and in this line is 
uh, three employees. You got the nurse scheduler, um, and that was the position. Then we have um, the medical records person and the medical records director. So there's three people coming out of this line. I got the, the person doing the nurse scheduling. What was your next one? Uh, the uh, the unit clerk who works for the medical records and um, the medical records supervisor. And those were all positions that were in that were, line were approved when we did. Oh, the yes. Budget. Yep. It's all they, they've always been there. <clears throat> so I, I guess my question is, if one person left and you had six thousand dollars, why didn't you think it was going to be an issue before this time? It seems to me you only had X number of money in the pot. But it looked like we, people. we, you know, I don't know. May, some of you may have left. And okay. Further questions? Any? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Chairman, I move to 7700. Motion's been made. Is there a second? The total budget is about of 127000 That's for three employees? Yes. Yeah. But the problem was only with one, right? Two. Two. Oh, the one that left and the one that came in. Right. I'm going to pass over. I have no second. We're going to pass over and come back to it. Request number 24. <clears throat> Go ahead, Chase. Is this informational? No. Uh, number 24 is transferring $250 into our um, electronic monitoring line. Um, as this is the, this is what we, our portion we pay out when we have people on electronic monitoring. And it, depending on how many people out per year, I try to take an average. So we had something out a little longer. We also make revenue. There's a revenue stream on the other end. Yeah, of this. there's offsetting revenue. There's offsetting revenue. So we are over by $250 of people being out. It's a good thing that they're out on electronic monitoring. Costs us less being on the inside. Sure. Move that. 250, Mr. Chairman. Motion made to approve 250. Um, has been made. I'll second. Seconded. Frank, further discussion? Seconded. I second it. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. Fine. All those in favor of transfer number 24 will signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Motion passes unanimously. 25. Uh, also, again, the, the jail. Um, Asking to transfer six hundred uh, six thousand five hundred dollars into our regular salary lines out of retirement. In our regular salary lines is included all our part-time employees as well. Also included in there is I try to explain this. When people work overtime, but they take a day off or so, it goes a straight time, and it comes out of this line instead of going to overtime because of Fair Labor Standard Act, so it actually costs us less. Um, but as you can see with the increased hospital bills, it's, it's increased for us to, to go to the hospital and have it, uh, officers there. By using the part-time line out of here where they only pay 6% into Social Security, um, opposed to the retirement line, which is 26%, so we have a net savings of 23%. Um, so we are over uh, my regular salary lines by $6,500 of anticipated, but we have savings in the retirement line because of it. And, and also out of this line comes uh, the uh, sick time buyback that's in the contract, plus plus the holiday payouts that's that's also in the contract. Yeah. Okay. It's everything. You <clears throat> lost me. The, the budget of the amount is one million two hundred and ten thousand. You only spent one million seventy five thousand. Well, that's but that's not counting. But that's not counting uh, anything in uh, December. So that's just up until November. So you have all of December's salaries, plus all the uh, part-time salaries, plus the sick time payout, the uh, the holiday payout. Holiday payout. Just checking December as well too. Okay. The 
wasn't clear because I read the date to be December 27th. Mm -hmm. Well, that's when I put this in, but that doesn't mean that that's one. That's the only date that's on there, though. But our payroll wasn't done. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Motion. So moved. Second. Request number 25. Would it come up to roughly on a, on a monthly basis? What does what? I don't. I don't. So the, the, the one million two hundred and ten thousand comes out to about what? Ten thousand a month? No. I mean a hundred thousand a month. <coughs> um, that would only make it a hundred and seventy-five thousand. No, and then you got payouts for all their holiday times, all the sick time buyback. Okay. Okay. Motion. It isn't budgeted separate. No. Motion's been made. Well, yeah, I'll it. second. Uh, any further discussion on request number 25? If you're in favor of the request, just signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, motion's unanimous. 26 uh, is for the annex. Uh, looking to move $1,200 from uh, the nursing home electric into the annex electric. Did we just move money into that? Yes, at the beginning of the year. And then we were taking it back out? No, we're, we're moving it. No, we did it into, we moved money into the annex before. But now we're, we, we have to move another $1,200. Looks like you're moving it out. Um, no, from the nursing home to the annex. So it's, uh, it's, go, it's, go going, it's going from the nursing home electric? Into the annex, annex electric. electric. Yeah. Oh, because it just said annex. It didn't say MVC. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. <clears throat> so is is this because of the um, is this because of the rate difference, or is this because of more consumption? Because electricity over there is being used for um, laundry, isn't it? Yes, and plus, uh, you know, we we still heat that building. Um, so no pipes freeze. Um, there's still water in the in the water lines. There's water in all the toilets. Well, I um, understand that. And what's what's the what's the heat source over there? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I imagine it's the propane, or when he's using the pellets, it's the pellets. But there's still all the heat pumps and everything else that drive all that stuff over there. Also, laundry's there. Also, the Eversource rate went up. I want to say like eight percent. So it's the same reason why you know we had to transfer money into the uh, administration building uh, electric line earlier this year too. Okay, this takes this takes you through the year. Yes, yeah, so this is the last bill. Motion to accept uh, request number twenty six. Second. S seconded. Um, questions. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 Last one is um, again from Nursing Home Electric into the Annex Propane. Same thing, all of the other propane lines are out. $325. Move uh, request number 27. Do we have a second? You can let me second? Okay. Represent, <laughs> seconded by Representative McCarthy. Uh, further discussion? If you're in favor of the request, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Before we go back to I want to go, I want to go back to, well, I want to go there, but I want to make sure we had a note added on to. Um, Actually, I, I, have a, I have a question before we, before we continue. Okay. Um, on, the, on the sheet, kind of, it says amount was underfunded in committee. Yes. Um, that's what I'm being told by by Bob. So, because it looks like you're taking money out of that account. Twice. Which one? Where are you? 
On the 2017 transfers, it says amount was underfunded in committee. Yeah. So with, with, it doesn't say which one was underfunded. Uh, the, uh, the annex. 9,516? Yes. Was, was the money removed by the uh, was the money removed by the delegation? That's that's what I'm being told. Let's make a note for ourselves. Just take a peek at that. Yeah, we were, we were told it was going to be savings, so we put the savings in. So we relied on the information we were given. When they can know the better. No, we did see savings on the on on the supply side. The, the ever source side is the one that went up. And Bob said he re, he requested a fifteen percent increase. I think we gave eleven. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. So. Okay. The I, what I want to do is I want to go back to the one we approved with a note on decommissioning, which request we have. <coughs> transfer request. We have one that we didn't. Uh, well, I have that. I have that still sitting here. Before we go back to that, I want to go back That's to number 20. Number 20. Well, I don't have any of mine now. That you all have them. So oh, let's, just, let's pull 20 back out here and put a note onto that. Mm -hmm. The original? Yes. So we were going to add on to this that we wanted to hear from the uh, from the seller and the installer on the proper method of decommissioning it's pretty much the What is what, number 20? Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what is the cost of the decommissioning going to be total? I have no idea. This is it something sounds, that... Sounds that like they're just going to shut it off, right? It just came up. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's not decommissioning, just shutting it off right now, right? Right. It's the patient of using down the road is cheaper. I mean, they, they anticipate buying another load of, another silo full of pellets uh, for next year in case something happens, but. The, the 8,900, what's that actually going for? It's going to, to the propane line. Okay. Let's go back to um, see if we can resolve this. On uh, request number 23, which was to increase a salary line um, to handle the increase in pay and the, the uh, issue, the shortfall that was caused by a, a person leaving. It's, it's two part, isn't it? Yes. So the person left. Um, she was the uh, nurse, nurse shift scheduler and was replaced by an LPN. They felt that it's better to have someone who knows shifts and knows nursing to be able to schedule you know, nurses and, and uh, LNAs. The, uh, the medical records director left. Um, she was making $15 an hour. Uh, they couldn't find anyone else to do that for $15. So I think they raised it to $18 an hour and hired a, a new person who has experience in uh, setting up a medical record department. Um, so we thought that we could probably swing it if it wasn't for the, you know, 6000 or so uh, payout. Okay. And then your third person has been there right along yes. and paying the same rate. Yes. So the difference came with the, not the person that left replaced by the LPN, but by the person mm -hmm. that left for the medical records. Medical records is from what I, how he was explaining to me. Okay. Any further discussion on that? We had a motion to approve. It failed. 
Um, you want to move it again? So move, Mr. Chairman. Um, I will second uh, further discussion. Okay. All those in favor of transfer number 23 will signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, passes unanimously. I have a couple questions for you, Ken, while we sit sure. down here. Let me get that signed. We should do this more often down here. <laughs> this time of year it's easier for us. Yeah. yeah. The, um, I had sent a, a, a memo to Amanda this morning that she'll be receiving. So you can chew on this while you're riding home. Uh, that uh, we, uh, the delegation, is going to um, ask that the uh, web, two things, we're going to do our own postings of the uh, of our minutes, of our minutes and of our meetings. So we've we've asked if there's an RSA that precluded us from doing it. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. the second part was. Um, you know, if there was a policy in place that we need to change and we need to discuss that. So otherwise, we're going to need, um, once they discuss it and agree to it, um, we're going to need authorization at the Conway Daily Sun that you can call up and make those. And then we're going to need um, permission from whoever your webmaster is that she can access uh, events and notices, and then that should take care of it. And, um, we'll still ask for the courtesy if it wants to be posted at the county to do that, but otherwise it'll take that burden off your back. So, and so anyways, we sent that request through to her today. And I think there was something else I wanted to ask you about. Frank, you had something to, did you have a question? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have my second item now. I remember. Jesus, just yeah. by looking at Frank. No, I just, I, the, um, can you explain to me, and if you can't, then I'll wait for a proper, mm -hmm. proper opportunity, the, uh, what the language was that the commissioners have reserved, what was, what was their term, the $10,000, they went out to request for, uh, request for qualification, qualifications, which are certainly within their jurisdiction mm -hmm. to do, and they received that back. And then I read in the paper, that they then had, what's the term they used? Their ten thousand dollars. The term was retainer, but that's not the right word. Okay, so can you no money is being spent. Um, what what's going to happen is they're going to send out a um, uh, the the consultant. There's two parts of this. One is how he's applied for a thirty thousand dollar grant from the U.S. Uh, for the B U. Uh, BDG grant. Um, block grant? Yeah, the, okay. the business development uh, okay. block grant. And um, CDBG. And um, so our consultant will be going next week to a meeting in Concord on that grant. Um, she's going to do that at no cost to us. Um, and then uh, the commissioners are going to want some sort of an RFP for her to bring to us how much a feasibility study will cost. Again, that's at no cost to us. Um, it's, and she'll roll all her costs into the RFP. Once we get the RFP, if it's, if it's, um, if it's, in, if it's what the commissioners are looking for and a cost they're looking for, then they will engage her. If not, um, they will have to pare it down to where they think, you know, a feasibility study might cost. But no funds will be expended unless until after that, which I'm guessing is going to be close to the end of February, the end of March, somewhere in there. So I'm looking at the the ten thousand that 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 we put in the 2018 budget, using that to to pay that bill, and not any other but funds. But there's been no commitment by the commissioners that they're going to use any of that ten thousand dollars. They are not using any of that ten thousand dollars until. They're satisfied with, with, with the cost of the feasibility study. 
Um, and that may be, and that's going to be several months down the road. Okay, but the word retainer is not. That, that, no, that's that's a have, have wrong no, word. Have, Damon have, took that word because that's what Howie had on his paper. But a retainer is not what, and they, and the commissioner made it clear last week, retainer is not the word that they would have used. It's not a retainer giving her, you know, carte blanche up to ten thousand dollars to spend. She, we're not. She's not in, incurring any cost for the county until she does the RFP and tells us how much it's going to cost. And that's the understanding we have with her. So no, no funds <coughs> whatsoever have been no. appropriated. The funds have never been appropriated for that. Well, that's the problem. Well, no, that's We're so looking important. for the 2018, I'm looking at 2018 funds. Okay. So Which would then come to the budget? It, it is in the budget. The, the, the problem is that if you look at 2414, it specifically states that no commissioner or an officer appointed or elected of the county shall spend, agree to spend, incur a debt, or all of that. It, it's not just you can't spend the money. You can't even agree amongst yourself to spend it if there's no appropriation existing for that money. Mm -hmm. And they did that according to the paper. They agreed they didn't, on no. a ten thousand dollar retainer. There, for there's no retainer. It's a wrong word, Frank. There's no one. There's no retainer been been given to anybody. Did but, they agree on how? it? Did they vote on it? On no retainer. Yes. Okay. There's been then no they retainer. They agreed. There's no retainer. They agreed on it. They agreed on something if they voted on it. They agreed on hiring this person. A they consultant. Can't. There's no appropriation yeah. to hire that person. Right, right, sure they right, can. Right, if they right. don't expend money, Frank, they, they can hire someone. No, you can't. Okay. You cannot even agree to do something. You cannot incur any debt of any form in any amount unless there is an appropriation. Mm -hmm. okay. Please Re read 2414. I, I've, read them. I've read them all. Okay, I will. I will. I will. I will follow up with a letter to the commissioners uh, asking them to explain their vote and asking why um, Howard used the word retainer and what the intent of their vote was. And I will then remind them of RSA 2414 and that if any part of that is in violation, then we will. Uh, well, then you better look at 28, 32, and 33. Because there's language in there that, that specifically states that the commissioners can augment um, uh, leftover funds be, because you know the budget doesn't lapse, really. No, municipal budgets are lapsing. Right, the county doesn't lapse. Unincorporated because, places are lapsing. Right. But counties are not. Right, and if you take a TAN and if you take a bond or a note out, that you can. Ex you can you can expend that ex expenditure at any time until that project is completed, until the project or the purchase has been completed. Contingency oh, funds, bonds, notes, anything like that. Notes. In order for any of it to be spent, it has to be approved by the delegation. You've already approved the TAN. Okay, let's, let's, well, we're going to ask the question, then, yep. then you folks can come back and respond yeah. the way you want. Yep. And then we'll decide, you know, where we go with that from that. But it, it's truly the intention of this delegation by a majority vote. They're not to be expending money. So, no, I'm well, not expending. They can't even I, agree I, I, amongst yeah, themselves. No, to I, do it. I agree with what you're saying, Frank. I'm agreeing with what you say. I'm agreeing. So we'll follow up. We'll you know we'll what follow it is, Ken? I know. It's Hounsel. Hounsel believes let's, let's, that well, for let's, some let's, reason. It's all three of them, Frank. We have it's no authority to make laws. That's crazy. Yep. That's what happened. You see a letter he wrote to the Senate? No. Well, he wrote okay, a Okay, let's hold, hold up, hold up one second here. So uh, we've met, we've done our business. Uh, motion to adjourn. So move, Mr. Chairman. Uh, motion's been made to adjourn, seconded by Representative McCarthy. All what? those in favor of adjourn will say aye. 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 Okay. We're done My vote don't count. You two are voting, so uh, I mean, I'm in the minority. Just second it.